2014 was personally one of my favorite years behind 2019 and 2021. Here are the reasons why this year rocks. First of all, in January, due to snow, I had a two-hour delay. This was one of the first times, as far as I know, where I had won. Then in February, I had some snow days, and they were nice. I also had a nice Valentine's Day party in my class. March was awesome because that's when I first started using GoAnimate, which I am still using right now. I used to have channel back in that year as well as 2015 which got terminated in early 2016 due to a copyright issues. Also in that month, it was the beginning of my new, long-lasting friendship with the girls and guy you often saw in my videos before April this year. The other guy and Julian weren't friends with me until that year, April, oh my god, that was probably my favorite month of that year. First of all, I had circus arts and gym, which were really fun. Immediately after that, I had spring break from the 12th to the 21st. On the 12th, my family and I went down to Florida for the break. From the 12th to the 14th, we went to the Nickelodeon Suites Resort, which was the time of my life. Then we went to two other places, and we all had a blast there. We have a boatload of pictures saved too. Then the 20th was Easter, the 21st was a simple day off, and then on the 26th, my school had a fair, and I really had fun. April 28th, I made my bed for the first time without being asked, and my dad was very happy about it. May was also a great month. May 3rd, my neighbors were playing wiffle ball, and it was pretty fun. May 6th, I had a gym party with the classics from my videos. May 8th, I made a song for my friends that we all sang the next day, May 9th. May 11th, I went to an amusement park for Mother's Day. May 14th was the best of the best of the year. I got to sat with the two classic girls, as well as go on my favorite highway ever. This is one of the only times this ever happened. June, that month was another awesome one. On the first, one of my friends got a new dog that came over to us to meet my dog. On the fifth, I had a recorder concert, and despite how bad I was at it during music class, I played mine very well. On the same day, I got the desks arranged to specifically sit with all my friends. June 12th, I got to go down to the cafeteria a little earlier than everyone else, and then only my grade got the playground that day, compared to most days where two grades get the playground for recess at a time. June 21st, I had a mini pool party with two out of three of my classic friends, which was super awesome for all of us. June 24th, my class had an end of the year party, and we all had a great time. June 25th, it was movie day. June 26th was the last day, and took a lot of pictures for my memories to go on. I don't have a lot to say about July, except I did have some fun field trips at camp, like the zoo. August we had a hiking trip that I really liked, and what was funny in the month was that it was windy at the lake, which prevented from going camping until later that day, September. I started another grade that had a lot of nice stuff. For example, pillows on the carpet, us being allowed to chew gum without bubbles, a brown chair that we often sat on once a month, and even multiplication bingo which then earned us candy. October, I had fun taking pictures during Columbus Day weekend as well as Halloween. I don't have a lot to say about November, except one of my secondary friends helped my find my missing library book which was very nice. December, I did a good job at the clarinet concert. In general, this makes 2014 one of my favorite years of all. I don't know who else hates this year, but do you know who likes it? My three classic friends. This was how our friendship began. Julian joined in 2021, so we can't include him here. 2014 rocks. And so does 2013. Spring and summer 2020 sucks. End of salute.